a really great day today. Pete the Cat is with us and Robo Pete is making his debut. So thank you for joining me. Glad to read your stories every night. Even though you're on vacation, we want to keep your brain thinking about story time. Hola comunidad de Greenfield, soy Sabrina Galvan aquí con ustedes leyendo esta historia. Vamos a celebrar Pedro el Gato otra vez con Robo Pedro, el, el gato que va a ser como un robot. So, gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Ya sé que están en vacaciones, pero no queremos que su mente se uh, termina de trabajar de las historias y pensar de las uh, diferentes cosas que podemos um, celebrar y disfrutar. So, gracias por estar aquí conmigo. So, here we go. Pete the Cat and Robo Pete. What's that guy up to today? Let's see. What a great, great sunny morning. Pete cannot wait to play baseball with his friends. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Larry. Aw, I can't, says Larry. I'm going to the library. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Callie. Nope, I don't want to. I'm going on a bike ride. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks John. No, I can't right now. I have to paint my fence. Pete wishes his friends would just do what he wants to do. It's no fun playing catch all by myself. If only I knew another me, Pete thinks. And like that, Pete has a great idea. Pete always has ideas, doesn't he? Pete decides he's going to build a robot so he can program the robot to do everything like him. Welcome to the world, Robo Pete. Pete says to the robot, you're my new best friend and we're going to play together and I want to play catch first. Great idea, said Robo Pete. Pete and Robo Pete play catch. Wow, says Pete, running after the ball. You sure can throw that ball. Robo Pete throws farther and farther. Time out, says Pete as he try tries to catch his breath. Let's play something else. You throw the ball too hard. I want to play whatever you want to play. So how about we play hide and seek? That will be fun, said Robo Pete. Pete finds the best hiding place ever. He's sure P Robo Pete will never find him here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha. What? Shouts Robo Pete, tagging Pete. Hey, how'd you find me so fast? Well, I have a homing device. Oh, he had a little thing on Pete that he could find him. I can find anyone, anywhere. Okay, enough of this hide and seek stuff, Pete said. Pete teaches Robo Pete how to play a, a song he made up in his head. You have to feel the music, Pete said. Okay, said Robo Pete. To feel it, I need to play loud, said Robo Pete. Pete tries to stop Robo Pete, but Robo Pete can't hear him over the noise. This is fun, said Robo Pete. No, this is awful, said Pete the cat. Okay, let's ride our skateboards instead. Pete can't answer Robo Pete's feet transform into a motorized skateboard with super fast wheels. Let's go. Wait, said Pete. Pete chases after Robo Pete. He has no idea where Robo Pete is going. Robo Pete crashes into the sandbox on the playground. Oh no, are you okay? I am a robot. I am indestructible. What is this strange place? It's a playground, said Pete. He waves to his friends to come and play. This is Robo Pete, Pete says to Callie, Larry, and John. I made him by myself. Cool, said Larry. We are going to help John finish painting and then we can go bike riding. I want to go on the slide. Okay, Robo Pete, I want to help my friends paint the fence. Pete, tell, Pete tells his robot. Paint the fence? That would be great, Robo Pete says. I am programmed to paint faster than anyone. Cool, Pete and his friends say. Let Robo Cop. Robo Pete paint the fence. So they did. And while he did that, they went on a bike ride and they read books. And after that, and all the painting was done, they even helped him clean the brushes. Pete realized that it doesn't matter what they do, just being with his friends 
is what makes it fun. And now Robo Pete is one of the friends. So thank you for joining me here today, boys and girls. I hope you have a really great restful night. And I'll be back here tomorrow night with another story. Thanks for joining me. I'm Supernet Gavon with the Grading Field School District, sending a great big bear hug from our family to yours.